Pepper says, are you ready to declutter this kid's bedroom? I know I am. Hello everyone and welcome back to A Hoarder's Heart. This is our first post-surgery video. So this is a brand new decluttering video that is going to be dedicated to my youngest son, Tyler. He has been wanting to clean, declutter, and organize his room for a little bit now. So he's going to be fully doing all the work while mommy is still recovering. I am still a little couch bound here, <laughs> but that's okay because each day we get a little stronger and a little better. And I also want to thank everyone who has been praying for me and sending me loving energy and healing love and all of the wonderful good stuff during my recovery. It was much needed. Don't worry. I didn't push myself because my body did not allow me to. <laughs> I have pretty much, this has been my home right here at the couch, <laughs> but it's all good because we're getting there each and every day. We're getting stronger. So I'm very excited to see you all again and for Tyler to start his own cleaning decluttering series so that he doesn't ever have to struggle with hoarding disorder and enjoys cleaning, decluttering, and organizing all on his own. So Ty, this is your own series where we are completely changing your room. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, kiddo, go ahead. Get started on the first pile. What are we keeping and what are we letting go of? I'm gonna let go of this. You're gonna, yep, put it down. You're gonna let go of that? Okie dokie. Easy baby. Okay, right. Is that just the box? Yeah, but it's like here we go. Before you need to make it. Let's like see, what's in Oh, it tells you how to make it. Oh, it's since it's an empty box, we can like screenshot it and make future ones. Mm. You wanna do that? Oh yeah, we have to build that. So there's your keep pile, perfect. So as Tyler starts to make decisions on what he's gonna keep and what he's going to let go of, I really wanna talk about how to motivate your children to clean and to clutter their rooms. I had realized that both of my boys have come to me and had asked themselves, I don't want messy rooms anymore. I want my room to look a certain way. I want it to be clean. And I thought that was so interesting because what I hear from most people in my life is that they have a struggle to motivate their kids to clean and declutter their bedrooms. They, they don't wanna be bothered to do it. So I thought, why was my household different? What motivated my boys to want to do this on their own without me or their father having to say something to them? What was the energy behind it? And I think one of the key factors that plays a role in my household is that since I'm a recovering hoarder, I never ever put pressure on my kids to clean up their rooms because I felt like such a hypocrite. I couldn't even clean and declutter myself. What would give me the right to yell at them and make them and force them to clean their room? So I started working on myself, giving myself grace and time to clean, declutter the rooms in the house. And my children saw the neater, tidier spaces and they actually started enjoying it too. So I think because I never put pressure on myself, or my boys to clean up a room because the clutter and messes were triggering me to be so stressed out that I was projecting that stress onto them, that cleaning and decluttering wasn't coded as being a negative experience. To them, seeing their mother do it, decluttering and cleaning was a positive goal of achievement. And when we started cleaning out their rooms when they were younger, I approached them the same way I approached myself with someone with hoarding disorder. I gave them grace. I gave them a safe space to be like, yeah, it's a mess, but we can clean it up in small sections at a time. You can keep what you want to keep. I'm not going to force you to let go of something you're not ready to let go of, but let's find items that 
we can let go of so that we can start to clear out this space. Let's start to have conversations on what you would like your room to look like. Let's get a notebook and a pencil and start to write out all those ideas that we have. And slowly but surely, each week, we can get closer and closer to those goals. And I think because I gave them that kind of a coding and mindset over the years, I think that's what changed them themselves to realize that, hey, my room is getting really messy and I'm not liking the state that it's in. I really wanna turn this around. And that's kind of what I'm seeing happen to both of them, which I'm so grateful that is the case. And of course, the next step after this is going to be really maintaining the rooms so that we're not completely clearing them out and then over a course of a year, they completely snowball to a big clutter mess. That's the next step in our growth, which we're all kind of learning right now. And that's quite okay. One of my biggest fears in life was that my children were going to develop hoarding disorder because of their mother. It's what they have known their entire life since they were very young. And I didn't want them to think that that was what normal was. I, I didn't want them to struggle with this mental disorder. And if there was any way I could help prevent any of the behaviors from forming, well, that was my life goal. That's why I decided to take this journey to clean out my hoard was my children. They were the number one reason why I started. And I didn't want to do it for myself and for every other person who struggled with this disorder. I wanted to be a voice and hope and just have these discussions on how we can improve, how we can heal, how we can recover, how we can finally clear out the hoard. And I'm finding that in all relationships across the board, it's communication with the intention behind it that's where the healing and motivation to change comes from. When you see somebody with the same struggles as you come through it and achieve the goal of overcoming that struggle, it's the start of motivation for you. And when they create a safe space for you to believe in yourself, to give you loving energy and support as you start your transformational process as well. That continues that motivation so that you don't give up. That's what I've done with my boys. I've given them a safe space, an outlet for them to be honest with their emotions, to let me know what their goals are for their room, to go at the pace that they feel comfortable at, not putting any pressure for them to let go of something that they're not ready to go. That programmed them that they're still safe if they declutter. It's not a negative experience to clean out my room. It's going to be a positive experience because the way I dreamt my room to look like is coming to fruition. It's going to happen. And each small victory you have closer and closer to your goal, it builds up confidence along the way. You start to believe even more in yourself. I could see it with Tyler right now. He made every decision on what do I wanna clean first? I can let this go, I'm going to keep this. What's the next area that I want to look clean? He was very confident in his decision-making, so much so that it has now become part of his personality trait. Instead of always looking at mommy, wondering what is the next step like he used to do when he was little. And here is half of Tyler's tossy tossy pile because we did do a lot of throw as we go, but I can tell you that most of this stuff is going to get recycled as best as we can, but it is officially out of his room. And now Tyler is so happy to show you the new cleared out space in his bedroom. He did really good. 
He did small sections at a time. He made decisions to let go. He was very mindful of how quickly his cameraman had <laughs> tired out, but that's okay. We'll be making longer videos soon as I get stronger. What's important is that he's proud of himself and he's excited. He has a lot of ideas for his room. And in March, we're going to be continuing to declutter, clean, and organize his room. And my hope and my prayer is that this video motivated and encouraged you to clean, declutter, and let something go in your home today too.